too much stuff. Hey, kia ora, Helen Brahms here coming to you live from, oh jeepers, Fayetteville, Arkansas, sorry. <laughs> Bit of a brain drain today. It's been a very, very heavy um, brain day today, so the brain's sort of like a little blah, 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 blah. Um, hope you've had a super fantastic sparkling day. Um, let's see, how did you do with your challenges today with your mindset? Did you get into the mindset? Oh, come on, here, look. Ugh. With the mindset of acceptance, um, talking about accepting the things that you can change or that you can't change and finding a way to enjoy them. Like, for example, the weather. There's absolutely nothing you can do to change the weather. So how can you turn around and accept the fact that you can't change the weather, but turn it on a positive spin on it? So what other things did you come up with today that are like um, something that you can't change, there's nothing you can do about it, but you can um, change your reaction to it. So um, what acceptance things did you come up with on that today? Um, with your business, did you look at what you're, what you're doing in your business, what you're putting off until you perfect, rather than just getting in and getting it done? So remember, production before perfection, because you're not going to get, you're never going to be perfect, because there's always something's going to come up that you're going to keep wanting to change. And so therefore, if, if you're waiting for perfection, it will never come, you will never get it done. So just get in there and get it done. And then for the fun thing, did you find out what the top three mov movies movies were from the year you were born and have you watched any of them? So those, those were your three challenges today. How did you do with them? Um, like I said, we had our mastermind group today, total brain drain. It was amazing, it was awesome. Um, I felt really good at the end of it, was gonna go over to the EBS tonight and then, um, and, and poor Zephy, <laughs> oh my gosh. Zephy, when I woke up this morning, usually when I get up and go to the bathroom and then I come back to bed for a little bit and we just have our little snuggle time in the morning, um, she didn't even move. She sort of like lifted her head, put it back down and went back to sleep. And then I got up, got dressed, showered and dressed and all that sort of stuff and she slept through the whole thing. Normally she's already been up to the window. She usually sits at the window, looks out there while I have a shower and get dressed. Didn't even move from the bed. Then I told her if she wanted to go for a walk, puts her head up, puts it back down. So I started getting ready for the mastermind thing today and then she finally comes out, stretches a little bit, and just sort of like mopes around. So we went out for our walk and there were kids playing outside, there were dogs barking, and she just sort of like looked at them and walked off in the opposite direction. The dogs would bark, she'd look over in that direction and carry on walking. Um, she was exhausted and then when we came back, um, she did have a bit of drink of water, then she went up onto the dash and curled up in her bed and stayed there. Then once the mastermind thing started today, she got up and she went into her crate and never moved the entire time. Um, she was exhausted and then um, it was probably about 30, 40 minutes ago, she finally sort of like got up and said, oh, I want to play. And, um, and that, was the, that was the time that this wave of exhaustion just whacked me. And um, I was sitting in the, in, the, in the recliner there, I could not keep my eyes open, so I had to, <laughs> had to let Jason know, I, said, I don't think I'm gonna come over tonight. So um, we're getting ready, they're getting ready for tomorrow, and tomorrow we're going to um, gonna go for a walk to some waterfalls, um, have lunch, and waterfalls that, we're, that we can walk to, um, that we can um, hike to, it's a gentle hike, and um, we can take Zephy as well, so that'll be really cool. And um, then we're gonna have lunch, and um, then, the girls are going to get ready for their Go Glam, which is on at 4 p.m. Central tomorrow, and we're going to talk about that um, now. <laughs> I'm going to talk about that now. So what Go Glam is, is that Jason's girls have their own little business, and it's a jewelry business, and every piece is five bucks. And tomorrow they have something really, really special, because if they get um, 30 people watching at one time, then Daddy gets a pie in the face. And so I'm encouraging everybody to come join us. And I'm going to turn this around so you can see this. This is on their Facebook page. Okay, so you want to look at the Go Glam. That's what you want to look for. And um, as you can see, if 30 people watch Sunday's Go Glam Live, the Glo Go Glam team gets to pie daddy in the face. <laughs> and it's on at 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern. So please, please, please tune in tomorrow to see that. Tomorrow we're gonna to do a special live while the girls are doing setups. So you'll get to see a little bit behind the scenes. I'll have that on my Facebook page with a link to the um, to the, the Go Glam page so that you can all then click on the link and come over and watch them. The girls do a fantastic job of presenting the jewelry, um, talking about the, you know, describing the jewelry, talking about it and all of that sort of stuff. Every piece is five bucks. Um, 
you know, these girls are wanting to become entrepreneurs. They're starting out really young and they have, and, um, they are just doing an awesome job. I love watching them every Sunday, um, and seeing what they do and everything else. So 30 people tomorrow, we need, we need at least 30 watching so that Jason gets a pie in the face. And so, um, mark your calendars for 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern for tomorrow for Go Glam. And there's the spelling of it there. And, um, Please, please, please come watch. Support these girls. They're doing a fantastic job. They go live at this time every Sunday um, and show what jewelry that they have that's there. They give the descriptions of the jewelry. And like I said, every piece is five bucks. Um, and the girls are doing a great job. And I love um, love watching their lives and stuff. So we're going to do a behind the scenes video tomorrow so that you'll be able to um, see some of the prep work that goes into getting the things. And we'll maybe even interview the girls as well and um, get their thoughts about and maybe get a sneak preview as to what's coming up um, and uh, and some of the behind the scenes stuff that they do in preparation for their thing each thing so we're going to have fun with this tomorrow okay and um, so please please mark your calendars come watch it's going to be awesome um, especially watching Jason get pied in the face <laughs> yes we will Facebook live that one <laughs> okay so I'm just going to refresh my other Facebook page here because I think when I when I first when I checked ages ago we had six people in first place for our caption contest and so I put a thing out there saying you know go vote go vote um let's see oh we've got a three there hang on this is the picture that way that we're wanting the captions for I've got one three a lot of twos That's the twos Oh, another three. Okay, so I've got we've got two winners this week. Awesome! We don't have to spin no wheels this week. All right, so over here, let's see. We have Joseph is no, I'm not retrieving anything. Do you think, do I look like a retriever? Yep, no, I love that one. That one cracked me up. Um, you got somebody broke in and I said that was a, that was a two. There's another three down here somewhere. Where's the other one? But Joe, oh, and Ted Whitaker, what else do you have? So that was kind of cool. <laughs> like that one, what else do you have? Like selecting everything. Okay, what else? Um, so congratulations to Joe and to Ted. We will be in contact with you both to see if you would like to receive a personalized coffee mug or a personalized journal. It'll be your choice. You provide the photographs the, um, or let me know what the quote is you want on there and we make it up for you. We send you the proofs. Once you approve them, we then, um, we then ship it out to you. So um, congratulations to Joe and to Ted, and we will contact you guys later. And remember, every Thursday we put out the photo caption from a photo that I have taken during the week of Zephy doing something. Um, and it's, it's always fun getting in a dog's head. What would a dog say? Um, I kind of like that idea. So, um, so stay tuned for next Thursday when we will release photo caption contest number six. Um, I'm really enjoying this. You guys are very creative in what my dog thinks. <laughs> and I have a great, I have great fun just um, reading some of the comments and stuff that come through. And some of them really crack me up really hard. And, I, and some of them are sort of like, oh, that's a good one. Um, and I usually wait till there's a few there before I go put my reactions in. Um, but I like them all. I like them all. Um, so I don't play favorites. <laughs> But so I uh, thank you all for participating in cap photo caption number five and congratulations to Ted and Joseph and like I said we'll be in contact with you um, to see what um, you would like as your prize either a personalized coffee mug or a personalized journal. So that's it from us for today. Tomorrow's going to be a very full day, a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to go walk Zephy and um, then we're just going to we're just going to chillax for the evening and we're probably going to have an early night since it was like one o'clock before I finally got to bed this morning and then I was awake. Um, like around 6.30 I think it was so didn't get a lot of sleep which is pro that plus the intensive mastermind we had today and my brain is fried I am exhausted so we're gonna have an early night tonight but have a super fantastic sparkling evening and we will catch you guys tomorrow with your challenges of the day. Hey konera!